Hi, this is Rick Morgan. And this is Nolan Morgan. And we're going to review some more, we've done more experiments like this in the past, but we're going to do some even expanded frequencies of light on comic books with different colors and different frequencies down to from 365 up to 455 nanometers. And I, I was gifted this wonderful gift of these comic books from Colin Ryan, he's a, he's a great friend. He sent me some books that were these remainder books that they had cut the, the front off of. They're these Marvel triple action from the early 70s and the reprints of books from the 60s. It's perfect because these books are all the same age, they're stored in the same condition, they have the same exact colors, and one of them is even a double cover. I'll show you what these books look like here. So uh, while you're watching this, you're seeing the first one, the second, third, and the fourth one has a double cover which is great. So what we're going to do is build a new, my new larger uh, golden age immaculate. We're going to interchange the, the lights and expose them all for three hours, some with 6% peroxide, some without like each cover. And then Nolan and I are evaluating the color changes. So these are the uh, books, uh, all four of them uh, when we're done. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you the experiment and then we'll come back and review the results together. Okay, Nolan? Yep. Sounds good. We should do our secret handshake. All right, secret handshake. Yeah. And right. I wasn't looking. <laughs> okay, cool. Awesome. 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 So here's the initial condition of the books on the left and the right. They're the same book. The, the, we have 365 and 395 nanometers are separated in the middle, so the light doesn't contaminate. We have two windows, one with peroxide, one without. We mask the right window so that we don't accidentally spray any peroxide on it when we're applying it. And we do that here. And then we're going to apply some peroxide. Just a moment. This is 6% peroxide. We'll apply it. Give it a few squirts. We didn't really, weren't really careful in measuring this, but they got about five to seven squirts each until they were just a little bit damp. Now we'll remove the masks, the peroxide masks. Leave the light masks in place. And then we'll transfer the immaculate box and the lid over with two different lights. And we turn it on and we'll let you see what it looks like and how much light seepage we get. I really can't see a difference in the color between 365 and 395, but you can see the buck book is in there. This side too, everything's working just fine. And there's another, I'll give you another angle to view it at here in a moment. You can see what this looks like from this angle. You can see the books inside. Here we are during the test, we can see what it looks like still. You can see the books are separated from each other the, from the lights, so one light's not contaminating the other one. We did the same thing with 435 and 455 nanometers in those experiments. And then here's what it looks like when we're all done. You can see how much the, the Sharpie faded on the 395. Only the 395 did that. Very interesting. The Sharpie faded quite a bit on that book for some reason. That Sharpie color does not like 395. For some, we don't. Okay, so Nolan and I are, are sort of grading this, this system of the colors here. And we've decided that looking at just the lignin parts, we're looking at just the interior pages right now. We're going to rate these from one to 10. These all got three hours exposure. The left ones inside these, these, if you see this area here inside this box between these lines, that's, that's where there was light exposure. And the also between these here, but the middle did not this middle section. So we can contrast each side equally did not have any light or peroxide exposure. So this is the control in the middle and then the right's no peroxide, the left is peroxide and this is 435, 365, 395, 455, right there. So we have these colors here. So we're, we've decided that 435 with peroxide is the 10, right Nolan? Yeah. We're giving that a 10. And so we looked at this and said, okay, what's the next closest one to that? We said, okay, we think that 435 without peroxide is better than 455 with, right? It's about the same, though. I mean, all mm. of these are very similar. Okay, so those are the same, you see, those two. So anyway, this is our rating. I think this is slightly brighter than yeah, that Yeah, I would one, say so, too. But not like, really. 
Yeah. But this is our progression. We gave this a 10. We gave this a not an 8. It's like really close though. We gave this a 7. We gave this one a 6 right here. We gave a uh, 5 to 395 with peroxide and then a 4 and then we gave this a 2 a 2 and a 0. We said this is like no effect. And that's the scale that we use for all of the color measurements that we did here. We also looked at red and we're looking at this and saying, well, this red looks darker than that red and that red. So this red's a, probably a little bit of affected here, I think. Yeah, I think the red's affected a lot. There. And here too, 395, it's really, I would say it's really affected between this red and that, right? Here and here too. I think all of them affected the red, honestly, except maybe the 365 is the only one that didn't affect the red. Do you agree? Um. Yeah, I would say it looks the same. Especially, you can tell, um, like, for example, the S on strikes, you can tell the left side and the right side, like, you, you can't tell the difference. Yeah. Let's scroll down to some other colors here and let's look at some, like, oranges, right? So this is, we're going to look at some oranges, before and after. And I almost want to say, and Nolan kind of disagrees with me, I think the oranges are maybe affected I don't know. It's subtle. It's really subtle. This yeah. this one I didn't get it in the same spot either, so it's I a little tough. That, um, like the parts of the comic where you put where you drew the line also was lighter in the comic, anyways. Yeah. So I mean, I'm gonna say we can't tell on the orange. It's just so hard to know. Like this, I almost want to say that this is lighter. Like here is lighter than that, but it it's hard to tell because it's changing so much, right? But I think like. For sure, this blue on Sue Storm is not different on any of them, right? Well, this one's in a different spot slightly. So that's not affected. The yellow's not affected. I mean, even if you look at, like, for example, his um, big toe, whenever it's cut off, is like, um, or something like that, or whatever, like, his arm or something like that, like, the same exact, like, spot, I think, looks the exact same. Yeah. I mean... I think you're right. It should be, like, all line, where there's, like, this is different, this is not different. If... There, if the two things right next to each other are like the exact same. Let's I look mean. at these these blues now, okay? So I'm going to look at, this is 365, and I don't see any difference in blue at all. Here, none. Here, I don't really see anything. This maybe, maybe this 455 is slightly darker here and there. Maybe this is slightly darker there. there. I think it might just be the letters. Maybe. Let me zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom in and see what, get all of these in a little closer and see what we can. I think that, um, think. yeah, for that one, bottom right, I don't know which number that is, but that That's one, I think. 455. Yeah, I think that one could be different because I see the letters and the control one are actually darker. Yeah, it's subtle. It's subtle. But also, you can tell from the um, the left hydrogen, um, or no, the left um, light box <laughs> test and the right, <laughs> and the right light box test, it's, um. I mean, yeah. you can tell they're brighter even on like different areas of the comic book. I mean, yeah, I I don't know. It's it's it is hard to say that these are affecting the blues. It's possible, but it's so subtle that we really can't count it. You know, so I'm going to say that within three hours of time, you cannot tell. Like this this white area is not a lot wider, and you'll see that as you get into like bronze, not bronze, but copper age books and stuff, because there's not much to really whiten if it's no if there's no like lignin darkening yeah it's subtle there's maybe something there in the blues on these two but not really if and if we're looking at greens let's look at this green color i would say that for sure oh too bad we didn't have a line on this or do we have a line on that green one we do i would say for sure green is affected here Let's look at these green colors, Nolan. Oh, absolutely. I wasn't even looking at the greens, actually. Let's look at green. I would say... So green is not affected by 365, I oh, would suggest. Yeah. Uh, at all. Well, here we go. This is kind of interesting to see this. This is kind of odd pattern here. It looks like, to me, the green is not affected by 365. Yeah, I would at say all. it isn't. This was a little bit affected by 435. Uh tiny yeah i would say it's mostly affected oh, yeah. by the 395 no it's exp i think it's like most oh 455 that okay yeah maybe. that one i mean it's literally like just a line yeah you're right that is that is pretty yeah that, that's let that, me scooch in a little more on this and show people yeah, you can't even like oh yeah for sure the green is definitive you're right you're right you got me okay 
Um, so that's, I wonder why this one, you would think that this one would be between those other two. Maybe, it, maybe it is. I don't know. It's pretty subtle though. Eh. I, I would say it's subtle. Um, so let's take a look here. We have nothing there. Somewhat here. Yeah, I'll say, I'll say noticeable. But, but let's go to just the no peroxide part of it. Is there a green over here? There really isn't. There's a green wall. No, that counts. Okay, let's go check this one out for a green wall. That's, there's no difference in that one. No, not really. Just that interior green, I would say. Maybe like... So I think it needs the peroxide to change. There's nothing. There's no difference here. I mean, maybe in the bottom right one, it's a little bit bluer on the left side, but that's not supposed to happen, so I'm probably just like going crazy. You're, looking, like, <laughs> You're just looking at colors for too long. You lost yeah, your Yeah, I'm marbles. just looking at red, blue, and green too much. I think <laughs> red's a big one, too. So let's look at red like super yeah. close, right? Let's look in here. I would say no difference really on 395 uh, let's go up here yeah you could make an excuse oh that's actually even yeah. with just no peroxide the, the 355 you can see i would say you can see there's a yeah there's a difference the red is yeah, lighter it's, a it's, it's lighter it's three hours yeah you can see it actually it's kind of hard to see now that you zoom in like, do you think it'd be more. funny if it got darker when you it's it? yeah that would be <laughs> very confusing um Get more color by exposing. Yeah, again, more color. It just like starts. Like I would shiny. say this one shows it too. It's also subtle, very subtle. Yeah, I don't know if it's just me. Are the letters like darker on the right side, or is that like, again, it's looking at comics for the right side of this one? Yeah, because that's darker, but the one on the left that's not affected is also like lighter. Anyways, yeah, maybe it was just darker naturally. Who knows. Yeah, I think. I mean, this I is as normal. Yeah. This is as standardized as we're gonna get. Same comic, same age, stored in the same place. I would suggest that this is. I don't know. There's nothing here. I don't think there's a big difference. And eh, there's also yeah. there's nothing here for sure. Is no, it? no. I would say as we increase the wavelength, it is slightly. Yeah, four fifty five is affecting it the most. I would say that it was slightly more effective on four fifty five. And the green, both well, yeah, yeah. There, I think there's some red characteristic in the green too, possibly. But um, I would say that for red, mostly affected by 455. What do you say? Yeah, I, I would say that's pretty effective. But even if it's still not affected by much, no, it's it's subtle. And if you're going to be whitening in three hours, if the main thing you're doing is trying to see this paper, kind of the tanning go away, then yeah. Let's look at it real close here. This is, I'd say, for sure. I would suggest that the. What do you say? I'm gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna reserve my comment. I'm not gonna poison your ear. Which one's the best with peroxide? Bottom left. Yep. Same here. Yeah. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Four thirty-five. This this is the no peroxide part. Yeah, I can easily actually make like a, a like a ranking like four thirds. First and second place, like easily on those tanning ones. It's pretty easy to tell. I was so here's the boxes that are not peroxide. It's the same. I'd say it's the same. For those two? It's one, two, three, four. I think the 435 is the best. Yeah, definitely. All right. So there we go. We've spoken. Right. Good job, Nolan. Yeah. And we'll graph the results here and show you at the end in a second. All right. So let's see what me, Nolan, and I. Look there. We got our frequencies here. We have 365, 395, 435, 455. I have a 495 2 light, but it does absolutely nothing. I, I just did other experiments on that before. It's a bigger light, doesn't fit in that same box, so it didn't work in this experiment, but it had no no function whatsoever. So on tanning, that's a big thing that people want to know about. So let's drop this in here. This is with peroxide on the right and without. It's more of an effect, definitely with peroxide. I would say it, peaking around here somewhere this and you can look at the pictures and make up your own data plot but let's see what else we have for this guy here so we want to i don't have the column switcher on so i'm going to go from tanning to uh let's say reds was an important one i'm going to take this tanning off add reds what did we get? i don't know it's a little confusing it's not as consistent as the last one it looks like more of an effect in this case we wanted more of an effect to be a higher effect on tanning but we don't want to affect the reds so we want the lowest numbers possible looks like the shorter frequencies are better in that case 
Um, one interesting thing is there was a big difference on the Sharpie marker. You may remember earlier and 395 and I'll, I should do another photo of that and show you. That was a big, was a big difference. Um, so more of an effect as we went higher. Okay. That's good to know. That's what we saw. Um, greens, blues, purples, blacks, nothing. And it's weird. Same weird pattern here. Greens were most affected at the high end. And these are, I don't know, maybe similar. And then it kind of drops again. Uh, so, and the duration was always three hours for this experiment. So if we do six hour, nine hour experiments, we can add this, add it to this data set and see if I do more, can I do more colors at a time here? Can I do, there we go. Oh, that's both greens. Whoops, come off of here, sorry. I should make them the same color as the word, I suspect. Of course they're not, why would they be? Why should I make them all the right color? There we go, the reds are the reds, and then tanning can be the top one. We can add another one here. So there, that's all of our data in one. Of course, these colors are swapped for the reds and the greens. But uh, yeah, that's what we found in this. So this experiment on this one book, that has the same colors stored in the same conditions uh, for the same amount of time. This is what we saw. Uh, it might be different on your book. Uh, and this is the pro no peroxide and peroxide. Pretty much the same, but usually just a less of an effect without peroxide, which is what we've been noticing forever. If I just take one of these off, go with just the only the, the total data set, or if I data filter on, I can add a local data filter to add just only the peroxide only one let me scooch this over so it's only getting just the peroxide effects looks like that so yeah you can see this and make up your own mind what you think is the best frequency of light for you so uh anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you around take care bye bye